Hello, I'm Clemenzo from Suex and today I'm here in Stockholm at the dive show and I would like to show you our whole uh, brand of the, the scooters, the models and here we have our previous uh, Itch Choice 7 which is actually the, the entrance of the recreational unit then we have here the new VR which is the second generation of our recreational units. Here we have a super nice lithium battery, long burn time. Then we go further to our entrance of the, the technical unit, which is here with the Grafin, our XJ14. Then next is the XJ37, which have also a lithium battery. And the last unit, the big one here, is the XK. Uh, XK1 actually, which is our really exploration unit for, for cave diving. The technical units, as you can see here, with the black aluminium tube, they have a depth rate to 200 meters, and our recreational units have a depth rate up to 100 meters. Let's say this is the cockpit of, of the scooter. So you have here the, our uh, mechanical main uh, switch system which uh, is based on just mechanical components and that means if you are disconnecting or let's say if you are switching off the scooter you are actually physically disconnecting the battery to the motor compartment or to the engine. The second one, the black switch here is the speed switch. So as you see here you have numbers, so you have here from speed 1 infinity speedless up to number nine so here you can choose the speed of the scooter so let's switch it on and now i show you how the trigger actually is working so you have here the handle where your hand is placed and by the one finger you just start the scooter here with the second finger for example you can lock the trigger and then you can operate the scooter just by the hand without holding all the time the trigger. If you want to stop the scooter, just press here the button down and the scooter will immediately stop. This is the, the new handle, which is now based on all our models. And the big, big advantage of that handle is that uh, you can unlock the, the bar here, the handle, turn it, and here this is the parking position. You can use it like when you transport your TPV in your car or on the boat, on the vessel. Even when you are a cave diver and you have your backup scooter with you, you can uh, store the handle like this. So you have automatically a protection system to the trigger part. And it's super uh, streamlined and also you have not any, like we always say, uh, a hook out for catching some lines. This is our uh, new uh, prop lock design, prop lock system. With the prop lock system you have here this wide huge knob where you can unlock, unscrew the propeller. So if you catch a line, a fisherman net, whatever in the water, you can easily get the propeller off by cleaning here the shaft, get rid of the line and are reassembling the, the propeller on the scooter it's really it's just one piece so there is nothing what you can lose just tie it here lock finish the propeller himself as you can see it's one one piece the blades are carbon fiber uh, reinforced uh, injection uh, blades so they are very very stiff and very durable Here we have our battery gauge system and the battery gauge is actually a display which show you the state of charge data of the battery. When you switch the scooter on it first shows you just five LEDs. So the system show you the precise state of charge after you switch on the scooter for just a few seconds. And then you will see it will have the nine LEDs now 
that means the battery is fully charged. The battery has at the moment 100% state of charge. So you have here nine LEDs. When nine LEDs are on, it means the battery has between 90 and 100. If there would be eight LEDs on, then you have the state of charge batteries between 80 and 90 percent. And this is going on till zero. And this is the real life data out from the battery, which the battery sending, transmitting the data wireless to the, to the battery gauge here. So here you can see our, our battery. This actually is the battery from the XJ37. Here you have the display which show you the state of charge of the battery. As I told you before, it's 100% full, fully charged. That's the, the fuel, the window for our Drive E system, the diver remote information fuel. So here you can uh, read out the, the CPU, the computer by your smartphone and see all the different uh, cells, how they are balanced. Uh, I also told you the batteries transmitting the data to the, the battery gauge on the motor compartment. This is done here by the infrared diodes, what you can see here. So the, the battery is sending the data here out through the motor compartment to the, the battery gauge. So the data, what the battery gauge shows you is, is exactly this data what came out here from the CPU of the active battery management system.